Hi everyone, this is Attorney Danny Galang and welcome to my channel. So today, I'll share with you some of my study techniques which I used in law school and in business school since uh, madami sa inyo ang curious kung paano nga ba ako nag-aaral during those times. What I can say is that you should not study hard. Yes, you heard it right. Kasi you should study smart. It doesn't mean na just because buong araw ka nang nasa library or coffee shop eh madami ka lang natutunan at na-digest mo na lahat ng binasa mo. Sometimes, you'll get that feeling na drain ka without actually learning what you need to learn for that day. It means that you have to study smart so you can effectively learn what you need to learn. So, ito yung mga study techniques ko. First, uh, study consistently. Study every day if possible. You digest it better when you study for a certain number of hours every day than when you cram it all in one or two days. Set a specific time when you will study so it will become a habit. Kapag naging habit mo na siya, you will be prepared physically and mentally and you will be able to study better. Just be consistent sa pag-aaral mo. Second, repetition is the key. Reread and review your materials at least twice. Browse through your notes after class, then read them again over the weekend. Mapapansin mo na you'll use less time to study before your exams and you will retain more kasi alam mo na yung topic and babalikan mo na lang siya. Needless to say, you have to write your own notes because it aids in retention. Kapag sinulat mo ang isang topic or definition, mas matatandaan mo siya kaysa pag binasa mo lang. Third, when you read, read it twice. Browse through the material first and check on important concepts and definitions. So that will be your first reading. Afterwards, read the whole material completely. That will be your second reading. By doing this, you will be able to grasp the impor important concepts first and later on, you will be able to connect them together. Kapag nag-highlight kayo guys, don't fall into the trap of highlighting a lot. Kasi when you do that, at halos ma-highlight mo na yung buong material or buong book, na-defeat na yung pag-purpose ng pag-highlight. Highlight only the most important concept or words in the material. So when you browse your book or material before the exam, you will only see and retain what is most important. Fourth, Utilize learning tools such as mind maps, flowcharts, mnemonics, sticky notes, and the like. This will test your own understanding of the concepts, and you will be able to digest the information better. By doing this, you challenge your brain mo to look for patterns and organize all the information you are learning and make sense out of it. This is also useful in learning difficult or complicated topics. Mayihimay mo at mas maiintindihan mo yung mga difficult topics na you need to learn. Fifth, utilize practice exams. We learn better when we practice, when we apply what we learn. Also, by doing this, your brain will be trained to learn the important concepts that are usually asked in the, exam, in the exams. So whether you are answering bar exam questions or solving accounting problems, Practice is the key to understand the concepts better and prepare you for test taking. Learn from your mistakes and from your past exams and you won't commit the same mistakes again. Sixth, rest and take a break once in a while. Your brain will function effectively if you will allow it to rest. Take a 5 to 10 minutes break every 1 or 2 hours of studying. So go out, walk or have some coffee. Let the blood flow through your brain and let it digest the information na naaral mo before you add another one. Also, remember to take enough sleep before an exam. That will clear your mind and kung nag-aral ka talaga, maaalala mo yung napag-aralan mo during the exam. So be confident. Lastly, and most importantly, pray. Ask guidance from God. Tutulungan ka niya na makapag-aral ng mas mabuti and he will remove all your doubts and worries. Mas makakapag-concentrate ka sa pag-aaral mo. So that's it guys. Remember to study smart and develop your own study techniques. Pagdating ng bar or board exam, hindi ka na mahihirapang mag-aaral kasi meron ka ng sarili mong way 
of studying effectively. So guys, if you have questions, mag-comment lang kayo. Or if you want to uh, suggest topics for our next vlog, feel free to comment also. So and guys, thank you for listening. Sana may natutunan kayo. Until our next vlog.